I like to wear my pink sparkly shoes when I want the princessy look. And I wear my smelly boots when I head to the barn. Having options is very important. Just ask a horse. They accessorize with the perfect shoe as well. And we're going to find out more in this edition of Harness Racing 101. Okay, Bob, I have a little quiz for you, but I have a feeling you're going to do really, really well. Okay, so you ready? I'm ready. Uh, okay. Tell me, what kind of shoe is this, and then why would you use this type of shoe? That's a full switch, and you use that uh, on a horse to get more hold of the track. Uh, some people, trotters, a lot of trotters use a half round, and this is more used on a pacer, a full switch. Some trotters will use them and don't need any weight but it's a, it's a shoe to get more hold of the track, a full switch. Now, what about the material? Because it, it feels a little heavier, maybe? No, it's steel. It's a steel shoe. Because there's different materials. There's aluminum, too, right? Yeah, yeah, aluminum shoe. Most of the pacers around today use them. A lot of trotters use aluminum shoes. Okay, all right. Yeah. You did really, really well. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're talking about my favorite subject today, shoes. Okay, so tell me, what kind of shoe is this? And like, what's it made out of? What would you use it for? Everything you can possibly tell me about that shoe. Well, when my horse is going to blacksmith shop, it's their horse. I don't know a lot about shoes, but this is a victory aluminum plate with a steel grab. Uh, most people put four aluminums on there to help them with speed. And uh, it'll make them more or less travel straighter and grab a hold to the track and get the best grip. And, you know, it's like uh, an athlete running around with cleats on. We just learned about the steel shoe, and then this is aluminum, so, like, what's the difference? This is lighter, right? Anything else you can tell me? It's definitely lighter. It may not hold up as well as steel, and um, uh, it's just a shoe that's probably used on 80% of the horses. Okay, it's used more then. Right. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, we've been talking a lot about full swedge and half swedge, and I just wanted to clarify a couple things. Okay, right here, you see this down here? This is actually the swedge right here. See the little indentation? So this is a full swedge because it goes all the way around the shoe. Now, if you have a half swedge, it would only be half of the shoe. There would only be, you know, like an indentation on half of the shoe. Okay, and then the other half would just be round. And here's a little more insight on the swedge, okay? <laughs> um, the area here actually is what collects the dirt on the racetrack. And when you're dealing with stone dust and you've got the dirt or the stone dust in the area there, it actually grips the track better because it's collecting more dirt. It's grabbing onto the track better. So anyway, that's my little lesson. Let's find somebody else. <laughs> Tell me about this shoe. What kind of shoe is it? Tell me what it's made out of, why you would use it. It's an egg bar shoe, an aluminium egg bar shoe. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how they, that's what they call it uh, down in Australia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's um, good for holding a horse's foot together or one that gets down on his heels. Um, sometimes people use them with horses with tendons or a low angle. Yeah, they're quite a handy shoe. I've used them on a few. Yeah. Where'd you get these? I can't tell you where I got these shoes. <laughs> um, now, oh, actually, it's is it two together? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. That's whoops. Yeah, that's a pair. We should, so, yeah, this is a pair. Right. I thought it looked like an awfully big shoe there. <laughs> so, um, now, what ha the, the blacksmith puts it on and then it kind of takes the weight off, or? Yeah, well, it's for horses that um, their heels spread. Just give them support behind. Some people put it with a horse with quarter cracks. Um, they're pretty versatile shoe. I've had a bit of luck with them, yeah. They're versatile. All right, we like a versatile shoe. Thank you, Peter. Okay, Jason, I'm doing a feature on shoes, and I have a really funny horseshoe joke, and I wanted to tell you because I knew you would laugh. You ready? All right. Okay, what does it mean when you find a horseshoe? Uh, good luck. Maybe, but it also means some poor horse is walking around in his socks. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, we're doing a feature on shoes, and it's summertime, so we want to learn about this special shoe. <laughs> it's a flip-flop, but I want you to tell me everything you can possibly tell me about this kind of shoe. Well, actually, I really never use them. A lot of the trotters use them. Uh, Tron's Smedge Hammer, where I train, they use them a lot, and they put a lot of pr they put uh, pressure on the frog, and it makes a lot of circulation to the feet, and you know, all it makes blood circulation, and they use them a lot. 
But I, I, I just have pacers and I don't use it on any of them. So this is primarily a trotting shoe? Well, I use them on pacers, but a lot of trotters use them. I know where I am there at uh, in Smedgehammer, they got 60, 70 head of them. And they, they use a lot of them in the wintertime to spread the foot and make it, and probably they change it when they go to race. Okay. Now, when you say Smedgehammer, you mean like Tron Smedgehammer. Tron is internationally known for having world champion trotters, if you don't know who Tron Smedgehammer is. He's Norwegian, and he came over to the United States maybe 20 years ago, and he's had, like, uh, huge, super awesome trotters. Now, I want you to tell me. What what okay, wait. <laughs> you have to let me answer the question. He's got ESP. He knew what I was going to ask. What kind of shoe is this? Like, what's it made out of? Anything you can tell me about this shoe? Flip-flop. Rubber with aluminum half grab. That's about it. Now, is it made together like that? No. it's uh, This rubber piece comes in one piece, and this is riveted to the rubber piece. This is actually just a half of aluminum shoe. They cut it in half and rivet it to, to the rubber thing. So it actually has to be custom made? Basically, yes. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Sure. Okay, DW, I've learned about all these shoes today. Now you tell me, which one should I wear to the ball tonight? i definitely go with a pad, and it's got a little heel there for you, and I think give you a little extra height that you might need. Uh, and I think it would go with whatever you're probably wearing. Yeah, but can I dance in that one? Well, yeah, I've seen you dance before, so yeah, you can dance in those, huh. yeah. 